Does your computer scream in pain when you rip devices out of its sockets? It could, soon, because we're building a terrifying payload. It's gonna be painful, this time on Hack 5. Hello and welcome to Hack 5, my name is Darren Kitchen, it's your weekly dose of Technolust, and today we are developing a devious and quite frankly disturbing keystroke injection payload for the USB rubber ducky or the bash bunny that might get you in trouble with HR, so you've been warned. And uh, this all came about when Corbin, who's one of our Hack 5 developers, posted in our internal Slack channel this video made recently by Michael Reeves, who hacked together a Roomba to scream obscenities when it bumps into things. <laughs> Screams are kid friendly. I feel like this is a good way to help kids understand like empathy. Mm -hmm. And like how some people in life have it worse than you. Exactly. Ow! Seriously, this this mod is just creepy and unpleasant and downright sinister. So why let the fun stop there, right? Well, in honor of this terrible mod, uh, Corbin wrote together a, uh, a quickie payload for the USB rubber ducky to add some unsettling fun to your friends' Windows PCs, and I'd like to feature it. Uh, you can go ahead and actually grab yourself a copy over at the Hack5 forums, link in the description, and I just figured it would be fun to dissect and demo this foreboding mess of code. Now essentially it's going to pop up a, a good old run dialog like most Windows payloads do and inject a, a little one-liner and this little one-liner here, the first chunk of it is a little bit of CMD inception. So what this does, the CMD slash C opens up a command prompt that says, hey, close when you're finished. And what's that gonna do? Well, that's going to start a minimized, what? Command prompt that's also told to close when it's done. I love me some command prompt inception, CMD. 2019, still have been on. And uh, otherwise, uh, there's nothing persistent on the target when this happens, which is beautiful because you just get like a little blink of the screen and then the rest of the magic is happening in the command prompt, which is minimized, so there's very little footprint as far as on-screen stuff happening, uh, which is good for us. Now, the next bit is actually going to be a, a bits admin download. And if you're not familiar, Bits Admin is, uh, well, in this case, we're gonna use it to download a little wave audio file onto our little bunny box here. And this is going to come from, uh, in my case, I'm using my h4k.cc server, grabbing s.wave, and that's just going to save it to user profile, s.wave. And Bits Admin, if you're not familiar, is a nice little utility uh, that's built into Windows that's going to allow us uh, to, to download and upload files. Uh, it's good stuff for staged payloads. So in this case, we're actually using it to download this asset because um, you know, it just makes it quick and easy. Uh, but keep in mind that the target will need to be online, right? So you know, obviously this could be made better or made to work offline if you want because it's just an 11 kilobyte uh, WAV file. So if you wanted to, you could actually base64 inject the keystrokes of that file into the computer. It's just gonna take a little bit more. Um, but in any event, we've talked about fun and interesting ways to get files onto computers, but uh, the important part here is that it's downloading this file into the user's directory because it's writable by the user. We trust users way too much, don't we? And um, and it doesn't need any escalated privileges. Like, it, it would run into that if you tried to save it to just like C colon backslash. Um, and that right there is referenced with, you know, percent user profile percent, uh, which is basically the same thing as say dollar ENV colon user profile in uh, PowerShell. But all of this is being done with old school uh, CMD, which is kind of cool. And then finally, the uh, payload actually adds a registry entry. So you'll notice here we've got an amp amp or two ampersands after this command. And that says, hey, wait for this to be done. And once it's done, go ahead and run the rest of this. And in the rest of this in this case is uh, this at sign, which says, hey, silently do this. And then it does a reg add saying, okay, hey, add to the registry a key and it's H key current user, which again, doesn't require any special permissions because we trust users for some awful reason. Uh, and then what it's gonna do is change this device disconnect uh, value and it's going to change the D word value to 
this percent user profile percent, which is where we, that's the directory we save this, which is probably C colon backslash users backslash the username, uh, and then that S dot wave. Uh, so there you go. The device disconnect sound uh, will be changed from that default, you know, pretty pianos tone, which, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and plug this in now. I have a little flash drive plugged in to our bunny box. You've heard that sound before. We pop over to our bunny box. We see, huzzah, we've got a little flash drive here, right? And I'm, I'm not going to safely eject it. I'm going to be evil. And I'm just going to uh, just going to go ahead and pull it. And there you go, right? So instead of that peaceful piano tones, let's go ahead and replace it with the screaming agony of Doom Guy. And yes, that is his name. No, I didn't choose the Wilhelm scream, though I came very, very close to it. It's, it's quite tempting, a good old Wilhelm. But yes, Doom, because it's the best first-person shooter ever conceived. It just is. You can't, you can't say otherwise in the comments. You, you just can't. So anyway, uh, I have it here. I have that ducky script encoded on my little USB rubber ducky now um, using the JavaScript duck encoder that we talked about recently. And I just figured, hey, let's take a look. Now that I've demonstrated how our little bunny box is playing fun little piano sounds, but not soon. So if I just come over here to our bunny box and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the USB rubber ducky. Very quickly, you're going to notice this payload. It's going to pull up that run dialog. It's going to jam in some code. You're going to notice a flash of a screen, and then all that's happening is down here minimized. So, and then it just disappears, and that's it. And the beautiful thing about that is, as you only need to be there plugged in with the USB rubber ducky while it's typing. So as soon as that run dialog disappears, you can walk away. This could be doing so much more, and as long as that command prompt is minimized in the background, who cares, right? But at this point, it means that if I were to now unplug any device from this system, it should be just, do you have roommates, coworkers that you like? Anyway, there you have it. A truly painful and, 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 and unsettling payload that is guaranteed to get you a call to HR, uh, although who knows, maybe you'll get some time off for medical leave and a recommendation to a good therapist. <laughs> anyway, dude, thanks so much, Corbin, for putting together this payload. You disturbed me, but keep ducking away. Uh, and in just a bit, we're gonna check in on our Hack5 Gear giveaway, but first, I'm gonna thank our sponsor. Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Now, mad props to Francois who commented on the last Hack5 video, one of his favorite payloads, and I just thought that I would point this little one-liner of nefarious goodness uh, out because it will make some noob's eyes roll. Uh, so credit to Francois, basically CMD. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this and I'll uh, link to it in the description. But I love what this is doing, doing a little color A action to make it in hacker mode and using the title command to actually change where it says right now, you know, cmd.exe, change it to deleting. And then basically it's this big for loop that goes through everything and oh yeah, deleting everything. Alt enter for the win. And of course, it's not actually doing anything but enumerating every file and saying it's deleting it. But you know, it's the simple things. So I'm hooking you up with a Hack5 $100 gift card. If you'd like to get some awesome Hack5 gear of your own, like Wi-Fi Pineapple or a Land Turtle or a brand new Plunder Bug, comment below, leave your favorite payload, and I'll feature it here on the show. Or head over to hack5.org and check out said gear and uh, support us directly. I really appreciate that. Uh, and with all of that, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your techno lust. <laughs>